Oh yeah, yeah. It has been a busy, busy day for me. But I said, before I get in bed, first of all, y'all know me. I try to at least come on here sometimes and be presentable. Today it just was not happening. But I said, before I go to bed, let me get the subbies some content. Y'all have been asking for more classical reactions? You got it. Today we'll be checking out, like I'm even out of breath. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Today we've got the top 10 iconic pieces of classical music. Subscribe if you're here, like the video, get your girl some coffee. <sighs> Check out the Patreon. Follow me on Instagram because I want to get to 10K. And let's get into the classical video. Yeah. There I know it's going to be Beethoven. I know this is going to be Bach. The Nutcracker? Welcome to. Sorry to pause it immediately. Actually, no, I'm not sorry because this is reaction. Um, But I always thought the Nutcracker was like, uh, like a produced instrumental. I didn't realize it was an actual classical song, so that's really interesting. Watchmojo.com. It doesn't and sound like a down our picks for the common classical sound to me. Of classical music. For this yes. List, we're choosing the king of classical is this song. Quality, this overall track. recognition and lasting impact. It's like a a fighting one. We're focusing on instrumental passages and or sections, as Burn. those whose main focus are vocals will be explored in another list. This is just the, this is, all, I, okay. We're not even into the actual video. This is just the intro. And I'm already seeing that my understanding of classical music is so much in a small box. Like I always think it just has to be these instruments, but no, it can be like this opera sound as I refer it to. It can be this, passionate overcoming uh, freaking it could be the nutcracker some ballet stuff like classical is so diverse and so broad like you've got to open your mind whenever you react to classical music because it's not just like this one sound i i'm uh, just from this intro i've learned that that's crazy we're also the conductor. excluding those pieces that have become synonymous with specific ceremonies like here comes the bride pomp and circumstance i'm not walking down the, the aisle to here comes the bride course. Hallelujah. Like that's classical. Hallelujah. There's lyrics. Hallelujah. Even if it is one word. Who are Number you? Number ten, the William Tell Overture from William Tell, Giochino Rossini. Italian. This instrumental intro to the opera William Tell is most famous in recent times oh for God. the use of its finale as the Lone Ranger theme. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. How do we go from that dramatic ass heartbroken song to this? Right? We went from like, it's like polar opposites, but they're saying it's one conducive track. I want to hear what that transition sounds like. What the heck? The Lone Ranger. composed overture is actually a 12 Why does he have a mask on? You can't see, homie. Parts, including the prelude, Dawn, Storm, Rade Vash. Ooh. <laughs> no. Because Mr. William, Willie? Homie is on the same tier as Beethoven. This, you tell me all these sounds are one song and they're just different parts of that one song? What the heck? Your mind. You know how Ludwig, Ludwig has like all these different pieces and they're all iconic? This William guy was able to do that, but in one track. That is iconic. My goodness. Ooh. And the already oh mentioned God. that's like a March run of the Swiss soldiers. When you're singing. Bum, 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 bum. William, you're an icon. With each part written for specific instruments, the overture <sighs> sets the stage for the opera in the Swiss Alps by seamlessly Swiss transitioning Alps. between slow and dynamic and then pastoral and I want to go skiing. It reminds me of Tom and Jerry for some reason. Like the chase. Wow. William. Number nine, the Nutcracker Suite, Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky. 
Tchaikovsky. Accompanied by a score so crafted European. by Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky, the Nutcracker did not find immediate success upon its premiere in the late 1800s. It doesn't matter, buddy. Two centuries later, you're dead, but at least your song's popping. You're an icon now. Dun, 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 dun. And you don't even realize these are classical pieces! Dun, 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 but dun, dun, that didn't dun, dun. discourage the Russian like they're composer just from choosing movie soundtracks from the two act ballet to form what's what known as the Nutcracker Suite for live performance. Luckily for him, and for us, it was a hit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That felt really good. Oh my god, that melody! No, I felt that one. I really, oh my god, imagine hearing this stuff live though. Like if through headphones, I get the chills. Imagine hearing that that piece live. One day, one day, for and sure. To form what's known as the Nutcracker Suite for live performance. <sighs> Luckily for him, and for us, it was First of a all, hit. congrats to these people too, being able to do, play these instruments. What is that? And Flute. today we can enjoy the magic and beauty of this romantic composition, which is filled with unforgettable melodies, complex harmonies, and instruments like oboes, French horns, a celesta, harps, and more. But I it, imagine having to play the violin in a suit. Like, I wish they could just wear sweats and be done with it. Like, I know very American to say, but I don't know. I feel like if you're going to be really diving into the music and really letting it take over you and your soul, like connecting with it, be natural. Like how can you really move your arm fluidly when you have this hopefully tailored suit constricting your arm? You know what I mean? At least the women aren't in dresses. Ooh, it's building, it's building. Come on, Beethoven! <laughs> Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Oh, Mozart, damn. Not Beethoven. This is another one iconic as Beethoven. Amadeus though. Mozart wrote this little serenade, maybe unknown. But serenade. That doesn't take anything away from the chamber ensemble composition's beauty and popularity. I'm so glad I I was born in this era or decade, whatever century, because what the heck is this outfit? Ugh, it would take you like an hour just to get dressed. I don't have the patience. People would assume I'm homeless, because I'd be looking wreck. For some reason, it sounds higher. Composed for violins, this one. viola, cello, and double bass, Ina Kleine Nach music has found Eine a home Kleine among Nach. string orchestras these days and is notable for its grace, energy, and overall gentle atmosphere. Okay, yeah. The serenade aspect of it definitely makes more sense once you get into the verses. Again, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know the technical terminology for any of this stuff. I just say what sounds right. So correct me in the comments. But at first I was like, this can't be a serenade. There's too much force behind it. Like it's it's overbearing kind of thing. It's like I'm obsessed with you more so than like a serenade. I love you. But once we got into the more s sweet and soft verses, then it, it, I get it as a serenade. Also, the fact that we don't know the names, or at least I don't know the names of these songs, but I can recognize their tones, their melodies, and like when something sounds off, like for instance, it's like Taylor Swift releasing her music and doing the Taylor's version. You know it's the same song, but it doesn't sound the same. So it's like, wait a minute, this something's off here. Like that part, it sounded like it was higher up. The tone was higher than what I was used to hearing. I don't know. Was it vanity that everyone wanted their face painted? Number seven. Eine Leitung oder Sonnenaufgehen from Also Sprach German? Zarathustra. German? Or Russian? Bischard Strauss. Strauss. German. It may have become ingrained in Movies. modern public consciousness after Stanley Kubrick immortalized it in his movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh, copyright though. 1968, and they were talking about space? I was born in 98, and that was like the digital age just beginning, but in the 60s they were doing stuff. Cool. But yeah, it's gonna get copyrighted. Century. Dramatic, oh my God. 
either heartbreak or someone's been murdered. While the majority of people are probably most familiar with its introduction, also known as Sunrise in English, the Spake Zarathustra actually contains Zarathustra. nine sections in total. French horn? Cool. We gotta learn more instruments too, that'd be fun. Each of which was given a title from chapters of the Friedrich Nietzsche novel. This director is getting into it with his head movements. Number six, oh the barber of Seville, Giochino Rossini. Rossini. Oh! 1948? What the heck? It's old. Oh my god. People, no, it's kind of crazy to think about. I know this is like, it's just, I'm gonna say it because that's what I do. The fact that like back in, there's been life going on. People have been enjoying music. People have been going to um, operas and events and stuff like entertainment for decades, for centuries. Some of these songs that we've seen here have come out in like the 1800s. We're in 2023 right now. Like, just that that time time is blowing my mind right now. And like the fact that there were human beings doing this, creating this, enjoying this. And back then they didn't know it was gonna blow up and there were gonna be like these huge success stories and icons of today. They were just doing it for the passion. Someone's at my front door. Okay, one second, I'll get back to that in a second. Not gonna lie, I don't remember what I was talking about. So let's just get back into Ow. the video. I just filmed this whole video and it paused. It wasn't recording. I think that's my sign to go to bed. So I will do a part two of this video. I'm just, I'm, I cannot believe. I, I literally just filmed this entire video or at least the second half of this video, whatever. Good vibes, good energy. It's okay. We can we can just do more videos. It's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, comment Favor loves her classical music and I will heart your comment. I'm going to bed though. <laughs> I I got to go to bed. Bye.